Today we'll look how to create this parallax effect in DaVinci Resolve. This is a cool technique for adding some visual interest to still images in your video. I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, but this should work in any recent version of DaVinci. First, we'll look at how to do this in a simple way, and then we'll see a little more complex example when the backgrounds are harder to isolate. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, and I have this image of a hiker here. Let's say we want to slowly zoom into her isolated from the background. Well, I'll take the image and drag it onto my timeline. Let's put it right there. Now I'll make a duplicate layer on top. So I'll click the image. I'm going to hold Alt and I'll just drag up. So we have two images on top of each other. And what we're going to do is take this top image and just isolate the person. And then we'll have the background image below it. So with this top layer selected, let me choose the color tab here. So I'll press color. And now we're on this new page here. Let me close some windows, make it a little bit bigger. So what I want to do is mask out this person. And because the background is kind of blurry, we don't need to do it exactly. So what I'll do is I'll click this button here, window. So I'll press this. And this brings up a series of tools here. And the one I want to use is the pen tool. So I'll click on this. And now what I can do is trace an outline around my character. So I'm going to click points and start making an outline. And initially you don't need to make this too detailed. It's not until later where you kind of know what is important and what's not. So I'm just going to click and drag. And I can go off the canvas here and connect it back to the beginning. Now if you see the preview over here, this shows what my final result is going to be. However, if I go back to the edit tab right now, let's go back there. Even if I turn off the background layer, she's not actually isolated. Let's go back to the color tab. The reason is that we've set transparency data to mask her out, but we haven't actually sent that data to the output. So the transparency data is called the alpha channel. So I'm going to right click on this canvas here. I'm going to say add alpha output. So I'll click this and this adds an alpha output channel, but we want the alpha from our node here. So I'll click and drag it. I'll let go. And now you can see the result. And if I go back to my edit page, in fact, you can see she's isolated there. So let's go back to the color page briefly. What I can also do is set the blur effect on this. So let's zoom in a little bit. With my pen still selected, I can choose the softness. So let's adjust the softness. And there we have it. You can change inside softness or outside. Let's make this zero. This is the type of thing you can play with as you see fit. So let's go back to the edit tab. Now I'm not seeing the background because I disabled it. Let's enable it again. And it looks like our original result again for the most part. But now what I can do is zoom her in. So actually, let's make the clip a little bit shorter. Let's do this. So what I'll do is I'll go to the beginning of this clip here. Then I'll expand the Inspector tab. And what I'll do is I'll keyframe the zoom value. So I'll click this little diamond there. And that means that's going to be keyframed at 1.0 zoom level at the beginning of our clip. But then what I can do is scroll to the end. And then what I can do is make her bigger. So I'll zoom her in like so. And now it's keyframed there at the end. So if I go back to my clip, now I'll play it. And it looks like she's zooming in. And this is the part where you can go and touch up things you want to fix. For example, maybe I want to get more of this background here so her hand doesn't show up again. So I'll go back to the color tab. Let's drag this out a little bit. It's really going to depend on the image you have. I'll go back to edit. Let's play through. And that's a little bit better. So here we have a basic parallax effect. Now, sometimes the foreground and background aren't going to be that easy to isolate in DaVinci Resolve. In this case, I recommend finding an external tool that can extract or inpaint your image. I'll show you how to do that in Canva, but you can also use something like Affinity Photo or Photoshop to do that. So I have this image of a knight here, and I'd like the knight to zoom in, but I'd like to keep the background static. So let's see how we can isolate these elements in Canva. I'm here in Canva at canva.com. Let me create a design. I'll click Upload, and I'll upload that file. So I'll find out my computer, the night, I'll click open and I'll use in a new design, custom size, create new design. Now what I'll do is I'll select my image here and I'll click this edit button. And this is an option in the pro version of Canva. And what I can do here is use these magic studio options and I'll click to the right. And there's one I like called magic grab. So let's click on this and it will try to select the object in my image. So you can see it tried to select the night here, but sometimes I get better results with the brush. So I'm going to click this brush button here and I'm going to paint over the night. You don't have to be exact. Just kind of get the basic outline. Let's cover them. Let's get the sword. Let's get this. Then I'll press grab. And now he is separated. So we can see it's two separate elements. I'll click add page down below. I'll drag my night onto a separate page here. So now the night's there. And now I'll download this as a PNG. So I'll press share. Download. I have PNG selected. Make sure to choose transparent background. I'll press download and it'll come down as a zip file. 
I'll call it night elements. Let's go open that. So here's my download. And if I extract it inside, we have our background image and we have the night transparent there. Let's go back to DaVinci Resolve and import these. So I'm back in DaVinci Resolve. Let's delete this. I'll open up my media pool, right click, import media. And let's bring in our two items here. Open. Now I'll take my background, drag it onto one layer. And I'll click the second one. This is the night, drag it there. And it's the layer above it. Now we can keyframe it just like before. I'll select the night. Let's open the inspector tab. I'll keyframe the zoom level. Let's go to the end. I'll press left arrow. Let's zoom up. And now it'll automatically be keyframed. And now let's play through it. And our night is zooming in. We could also zoom out the background if we wanted. Let's select the background. I'll click this transform button. Let's make it bigger initially. I'll keyframe that value. And let's say at the end, maybe I just want a subtle change in the background. So I'll just zoom in a little bit there. So a subtle change. And here we have our final result. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, check out my crash course video for beginners. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.